Praise the Lord. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Angel. Hi, everybody from uh, Facebook and YouTube. We're going to start praying just now. Hallelujah. Father, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Let's get to sharing the live broadcast and start tapping on the screen. We're going to start any minute from now. Amen. We're going to start any minute from now. Hallelujah. Glory to the living God. Let's get some more people in. Are you guys freezing today? Hallelujah. This is a very cold day in South Africa, I must say, but we're going to rejoice and be glad in it because it is indeed still the day that the Lord has made for us and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. As you're coming in, please let me know where you're tuning in from. Do me that favor. Let me know what country, what city you're tuning in from. If you're from South Africa, let me know what city. What city are you tuning in from? Thank you, Jesus. Mama, we boys, I see you. Welcome, everybody. Welcome those of you on Facebook and on YouTube as well. Let me make sure that I have visibility of this screen as well and see who are the awesome people who are joining us on Facebook as well. TikTok, you are alive and well. Amen. Miss M, I see you. Wayne, good morning. Mary Lou, um, I am from Pretoria in South Africa. And you? Wayne from New Zealand. Abiela from Kenya, I see you. Uh, awesome, guys. Welcome in. Welcome in. This is going to be an hour of power. We are on day 30 of our 31 days of grace and favor. We are on day 30. Hallelujah. Day 30 of 31 days of grace and favor. Hallelujah. Hey, Mary Lou from the U.S. Welcome. Which state are you in? Hallelujah. I'm sure U.S. is, it should be hot right now, right? It shouldn't be very cold. Hallelujah. Okay, we're going to start in a minute. As you know, as usual, we start with the word. Um, we start with the word and we go into prayer. But today I'm going to mix it up a little bit because as we are praying, we are going to be doing the word as well. We're going to be going through the word and praying. All our prayers are scriptural based, as you know. Amen. This is the protocol breaking prayers. Hallelujah. Welcome, Dogozo. Welcome to us from SA. I see you guys. Thank you so much. I want you to type in the comment section for me. God can. God can, God can. Today we are exploring what God can do. God can, God can, God can, God can. Hallelujah. Share the live broadcast. Keep tapping. God can, God can do it. God can do it. God can do it. God can. Hallelujah. I'm waiting for you guys on Mara Official to keep on typing that God can. Today we are exploring the God of all possibilities, the things that God can do. God is giving us a charge and reminding us that he can. My scripture from this morning, I'm taking it from the book of 2 Samuel chapter 9. Basically, we're going to be praying through the whole chapter of 2 Samuel chapter 9, this one until its end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody Erica, it's good to see you again. Shala, it's good to see you. Get a fab. God can. God can definitely do it. Imagine when you start the day and you are charged and you start from the premise that God can do all things. Hallelujah. If God can do all things, that means he has given you that same empowerment that he can do anything. Hallelujah. The first thing that I want us to charge our spirits with is to know that God can use any day. God can use this Tuesday. God can use this 30th of May. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This 30th day, as we have started our prayers of grace and favor for 31 days of grace and favor, God can do it. God can use any single day. And verse one says, one day, David asked, is there anyone left of the house of of a soul. Hallelujah. Is there anybody that is left in the family of Saul? If there is, I would like to show him kindness for Jonathan's sake. I would like to favor somebody based on association, based on the fact that they are from this particular family. Tell your neighbor one day, one day is any day, one day, one day, God can do it in any day. So as you woke up this morning, you woke up with that in your mind that as you come for prayers this 
morning, as you come for this moment of fellowship that we always do every single morning, you came to say, God can do it for me. God is still God. God is still on the throne. God, this day could be the day. This day can be any day. This day could be my day of breakthrough. This day, God can do it. God can do it. Amen, somebody. So God, one day is any day. One day is any day. We are here. God can do it. Hallelujah. Irrespective of how many bad days you have had, irrespective of how many bad days you were having last week or this month or this year or last year, hallelujah, God can turn things around today, hallelujah. And that is our prayer focus, hallelujah. This is our first departing prayer focus where we are saying, God, today is my day. Today is my day. Declare it in your spirit. Declare it to your neighbor. Today is my day. Irrespective of how many bad days I may have had, irrespective, you are sending me a brand new day. Lord, we just want to welcome you. Holy Spirit, we just want to say thank you for this brand new day that you are giving us to this morning. Thank you, Lord, for this brand new day. Amen. Irrespective of how tough my seasons have been, I've been through a lot of tough seasons. Irrespective of where I am or where I've been in life, hallelujah, you have given me a new season. Can we declare it together? God has given me a new season. God has given me a new day. Any day, any day is my day. Today is my day. One day, one day. David just needed one day. The, 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 the people from Saul's family just needed one day to be remembered. So God is remembering you. All you need is just one day. Hallelujah. God, despite of how difficult my year has been so far from January until now, May the 30th. I know May the 30th is the day that God is turning it around. Make sure you are typing in that comment section. God can do it. God can do it today. One day. Today is the day. One day today. Hallelujah. God can, irrespective that I may have failed before God, you can turn things around. You can make sure that I'm a success. You can reposition me. You can recalibrate me. You can reposition me. Even in the storm, I'm not going to be swallowed up in the sea. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God can do it. God can do it today. All you need is one day. One day for your destiny helper to remember you. God can do it. Amen, somebody. God can do this thing and he is going to do it. Hallelujah every day that has been assigned to you that that has been assigned it's your day hallelujah whatever day that exists in the past before now that has caused you pain god can turn it around for your glory and god is saying i am turning it around as you woke up this morning to honor me to exalt my name to come and have and fellowship with me i am telling you that i'm turning it around i'm turning around the days of pain for your days of glory in the mighty name of jesus christ every season that has been crying every Every season that you have been in regret, every prison or, or, or every season that has held you in prison, that you have been in pain, that has followed you until now, today is terminated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your one day is today. Your one day is today where everything is being terminated. Every cry, every regret, every, every pain moment, hallelujah, it is being swallowed up. Today is your day in the name of Jesus. Somebody type, God can do it. God can do it. God can do it today. What can God do? It helps when you're a child of God to give you that self-confidence to know what your God can do. You see, when you go into any battle or you go into any meeting, you need to know what you can do. So you need to know the troops that are with you, what they can do. What artillery are they carrying? What can they do? What can God do? What are you relying on? Who are you sending forth? What can your angels do? What can your angels do? What are the forces of heaven able and capable to do. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. So today has been assigned to be that God, God can day for you. That today is your God can. God can do it. God can do it. Talk to me, somebody. Are we tracking together? From now, your days will birth new questions that will bring forth new answers. From today, you must determine that God can give you whenever a question pops up, God will give you the answer to the question. Any question that other people will have, you will be the solution and the answer. Any question that will lead to your breakthrough, you command it right now. Be asked and be answered today. It will be asked today and it will be answered today. Anything that will command my breakthrough, Father, we call it forth in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus Christ, we declare and we decree that whatever shall be a query in our spirit, oh God, there shall be an answer in the name of Jesus Christ. I said there shall be an answer, JJ. There shall be an answer known to me. So in the name of Jesus Christ, God can do it. God can give you the answer. God can cause your remembrance to be today. God can cause your breakthrough to be today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When you are moving with the kind of God, of which is the God that can do anything, you understand that God is the God of wonders. Where, whenever he steps in, he steps in and he tells you, I'm a wonder and I bring wonders in your season. Talk to me. If you go to Samuel verse, uh, 2 Samuel chapter 9, verse 1, and you read it in the CEV version, it says, one day David thought, I wonder if, this is what was going on in, the, in David's mind, I wonder if there is anyone in the house of Saul. I wonder if there is, there is somebody sitting somewhere right now asking themselves, I wonder if Shala is okay. I wonder if P is okay. I wonder if Mamu is okay. You understand that when somebody, somebody is sitting somewhere wondering about you. It is an honor to have somebody who will wonder about you. I wonder if Fortune is okay. I wonder if Medical is okay. I wonder if Ovi is Oh, Kadi Abasonda. God can do it. God can wipe away your tears, Ovi. God can. God is just saying, I am a wondering God. I am sitting and wondering. I have caused the destiny help us to be wondering about you. Somebody is losing sleep about you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I wonder if there is anyone in the house of Saul that is still alive that I can be kind to, that I can make sure that I fulfill my promises to Jonathan, that I can make sure that I fulfill what I vowed. Come on, somebody. Somebody needs to understand that God is a wonder. Type it up in that comment section. God is a wonder. God is wondering. Somebody is wondering. God is a wonder. He's a wanderer. Hallelujah. The Lord that we serve is a God that can wonder, is a God that can pl plant a seed of wondering. Your destiny helpers shall not sleep. They will continue to wonder about your wellness. They will continue to wonder, Giselle, about you in the name of Jesus Christ. They will con continue to wonder how they can supply your needs. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray right now and say, God, make me a wonder. Make my family a wonder. Let people be wondering about me. Let them, let them be wondering about my excellence. Let them be wondering how they can improve my life. How can they add value to my life? Let them be wondering, Father, cause someone to have a thought, a brainwave about me in this morning, in Jesus' mighty name, in this nighttime, regardless of where you are tuning in from. Hallelujah. Cause somebody to remember me in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me be a thought, seed planted, engraved in somebody's brain. Let it cause a brainwave. Let somebody wonder about me. Make sure you are tapping on those likes. Let's depopulate hell and populate heaven right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let every idea that matters, that I have carried for years, let them manifest this year. Let them manifest today and beyond. In the name of Jesus, God is a wandering God. Oh, destiny help us. Where are you? Let somebody lose sleep because of me. Let somebody's thoughts be consumed by my thoughts. Let them be consumed by my ideas, how they're going to execute my ideas and dreams. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, let me be a wonder. Let my dreams come true. Thank you, Anna. God bless you. Dreams come true. Let my dreams come true. Father, let my dreams come to pass this year, today and beyond. On this day 30, on this protocol breaking prayer altar, in the name of Jesus Christ, every mind that you can use to make life easy for me, every mind that can be used to make my destiny come into fruition, make them wonder until I get help. Oh, Shakali Abasanda. Declare it right now. Make every mind wonder about my help. Until I get help, let people, there are people that God has positioned. There are angels that we are commanding. Let them wonder about you until they cause you to receive the help you need. Until the dreams that you have come to pass. Let them wonder. We are charging up. We are left with one day on grace and favor. Tomorrow we escalate. We are taking it top. Hallelujah. Tomorrow you receive your goods. You shall receive answers in the name of Jesus Christ. Then you trek with me, saints of God. Psalm verse 126 verse 1, it says, When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Let me read it from another translation, GNB. It says, When the Lord brought us back to Jerusalem, it was like a dream. There is a turnaround coming. Hallelujah. Somebody say, like a dream.
like a dream make sure you are typing in the comment section like a dream there is a god when he steps in he can do it like a dream it's like a dream when he steps in god can do it like it's a dream you will be like you are dreaming am i dreaming somebody pinch me am i awake hallelujah god can turn around your captivity god is the one who will turn around your captivity he says i must remind you that what can i do as a god the god of megan i'm a god that can turn around her captivity in her life when when you finish when you get to your finish line and you look back and you say oh my god this must be dreaming i must be dreaming somewhere he is a god that can turn around your life like a dreamer in the name of jesus christ when you finish it will look like you are dreaming when you finish you will be pinching yourself god is the father that can use everything to make sure that joy is brought to your bosom hallelujah receive the joy of the lord because god can send you joy like that in the name of Jesus Christ. God can turn around your captivity from being sad and he gives you joy. Hallelujah. He can turn around and remove your, 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 your tears and give you joy. Talk to me somebody like a dream, like a dream. Say to your neighbor, like a dream, like a dream. I'm being transitioned from depression into joy. I am I'm being transitioned like a dream. I'm being transitioned from poverty into wealth. In the name of Jesus Christ, any mind that can help me. Oh, make them wonder God make them wonder make them wonder until my life is is reflecting like a dream until my days are reflecting like a dream in the name of Jesus Christ my father my father turn around our dreams into testimonies this morning in the name of Jesus Christ like a dream they are being turned around into testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ father we come to you this morning we say any group any association that can move us forward oh God let them wonder about us. Wherever they gather, they must be gathering about how they're going to make you smile. They're going to gather about how they can make your life be like a dream. When they're gathering right now, when they're positioning your letter of appointment, when they are thinking about what salary to offer you, they are wondering about you. Let As they wonder, they are going deeper into a deeper salary. Father, cause them to even add three more zeros to that salary. It will be like a dream overcomer. It will be like a dream in the name of Jesus Christ. God can do it. What can God do, Fortune? God can bring to remembrance anything that you or someone has done in the past. Or, 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 or you know, he can use whatever you have done in the past to change your present situation. Some of you have done good deeds to people. Hallelujah. I was reminded. Let me share quickly this story. I went to a graduation party. I think I shared a bit about it two weeks ago. And I didn't understand. It was a very limited pupil that were invited. And when I got there, I got to give a speech. And when the person was responding, he says, you don't remember. You gave me my first job. I was not qualified for it. I was not qualified. I didn't have any qualifications in the legal profession. You gave me my first job. Now, when you do good, you move. And the pre- I was shocked. I remembered. He says, not only did you give me my first job, you also took me to school. I forgot. Do you see? You continue to plant seeds. So God causes people to remember. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will continue to, 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 to make people remember your past deeds that you have forgotten about. May God remember you. May God cause people to wonder. May God cause your past seeds that you have sown. May they come to fruition and people bless you concerning it. In the name of Jesus Christ, may they come to change your present situation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. One day, David asked, is there anyone left of the house of Saul, of the family of Saul? I would like to show him kindness for Jonathan's sake. I want to show you kindness. Your children will benefit from your past seeds. You sowed a seed. Oh, Jesus. That's why I always say, do not do not, uh, do not resist in doing good to people. And do not judge anybody. Do not look down on anybody. Because you don't know. You may be helping an angel that is going to come around in the future. And cause you to come into remembrance. All this while. Father, my father. Remember 
it, O oh God. Remember my seeds. Remember my past works. Remember my past deeds where I've done good. Let it come forth to help me now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is left of me, let somebody wonder. Whatever is left of you, somebody is wondering about you. you. Whatever is left of your gifts and talents, remember it, O oh Lord. Whatever is left of your relationships, remember it, O oh Lord. Relationships that matter, relationships that bring transitions, the relationships that move you to next levels, that change it around. Lord, remember it, O oh God. God can remember your past deeds. God can remember how you handled relationships in the past. God can remember what asset was left behind. Any asset that is useful in your life, anything that you have possessed that can speak for you right now, whatever you gifted to somebody, let it speak for you right now. God can remember it. Call him into remembrance. God remember it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we speak to every single long-standing delay and stagnancy. We command it to come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Father, this morning we rise to declare that it is a new dawn in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today is a no new dawn. Hallelujah. Find something in this new dawn, my God. Find something in my past, oh God. Use it, oh God, to promote me today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody tell your neighbor, God can do it. God can do it. I declare with all my strength as the Lord lives, it is my time. Declare it with me. Come on. I declare it is my time. It is my turn. I will testify. It is my time. It is my turn to testify. It is my time. It is my turn to testify. Day 30. It is my time. It is my turn to testify. Echo it in the heavenly realm. Echo it in the spirit realm. If you need to wake up your neighbors, wake up your neighbors. Remember, oh Lord, it is my time to testify. Oh, this is a new dawning for somebody. Somebody who's listening to the sound of my voice. Right now, I decree as the Lord lives someone will remember you today. Someone will remember you today and beyond. Somebody will favor you today. Remember me, O oh Lord. Cause somebody to favor me in the name of Jesus Christ. As the Lord lives, heaven will remember you. I said heaven will remember you, Gundo. Heaven will remember you, Josie. Heaven will remember you, Mam Jester. Munasha, the Lord is remembering you. Heaven is open and is saying, I'm open for business. I'm turning around Munasha's life today. Today is the day. What can God do? God can remember you. God can cause your day to be the day that you have been waiting for. God can cause people to wonder about you. God can cause your life to be like a dream. Your life is being turned around in Jesus' mighty name. I wish you could shout that amen louder. What can God do? Let's trek together. Mm. Mm. God can cause people to, to willingly help you. Hallelujah. Uh, it's what I call compulsory willingness to help. You receive compulsory. It's compulsory that people should be willing. Naturally, if you look at this statement, if somebody is willing, they have to be volunteering, right? It's like you're not forcing them. But this type of willingness that is brought around by God is the kind of God that compels people to be willing. People will be compelled to help you in the name of Jesus Christ. In verse 2 of our scripture, 2 Samuel 9, 2, it says, David called in Ziba, one of the servants of Saul's family. David said, so you are Ziba. Yes, you are majesty. I am. Hallelujah. In another translation, he says, are any of Saul's family still alive? If they are, I want to be kind to them. Ziba answered, one of Jonathan's sons is still alive, but he can't walk. It is not up to Ziba to decide who gets blessed, whether they can walk or they cannot walk. What David was asking, is there anyone left in the house of Saul? So Ziba might have had a hesitation to say, I don't want to bring her name up. I don't want to bring Mephibosheth's name up. I don't want to tell, take me rather, there's nobody useful. This is what this guy was saying. He was basically saying, nobody is deserving of being recognized by you. Nobody is deserving of being remembered by you. But the devil is a liar and so is his mother-in-law. He said, no, 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 no. no. That is not, I didn't ask you whether they can walk or not. Who is that person that when they were asked, they, instead of answering the question, they offered, to, they call it TMI in, in, in this streets of, of too much information in slang. 
who is that person? They did not ask you for the credentials and the CV of the person that is left. They said, who is left? Hallelujah. Ask your neighbor who is left. I am left. I am left. Did, I am the one that's left. I'm the one that the Lord is remembering. They didn't ask you whether I've got the suit for it. They didn't ask whether I've got the shoes for it. They didn't ask you whether I've got the wig or the swag for it to show up to that meeting. They just asked who is left. Who is left in your house, Faisal? Who is left in your house, Dennis? Who is left in your house, Kingdom Woman? Who is left in your house, Overcomer? Who is? You are the one left. You are the one that has to be remembered for Jonathan's sake. I don't know what prayers your fathers and your mothers and your grandparents prayed for you, but who is left in your house? That will, because of the voices that were rising, because of the voices that prayed for you, because of the voices that you are praying now, the voices that you are opening right now, your children shall be remembered. Your children's children shall be remembered all the time. Hallelujah. Somebody will wonder about them. Somebody will ask for them for your sake in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, Nora. Hallelujah. Ziba answered incorrectly. He answered. He was not willing to answer, but God forced him to answer. God can cause willing compulsory willingness in the day of his power the people shall be compulsory willing you will come you will be compelled to be willing to serve me you will be compelled to be willing to gift me you will be compelled to be willing to bless me somebody hang on to your miracle fight contend with your contenders you will be compelled to release my possessions hey Compel your tormentors. Loose me and let me go. Break me from these chains. Compel your mind to collaborate with the mind of God. Compel my mind. You will think goodly thoughts. You will think everything that is prosperous. You will think everything that is divine. Compel your bank account to be willing. God can do it. Did you think only God talks to people? God talks to things as well. Compel your bank account. My bank account, you shall be willing. I cannot log in here and find you empty. In the name of Jesus, even without begging, willing hearts will help you. Even without applying, doors will open for you. I am declaring you should be shouting that amen louder. I said without begging, you will be helped in the name of Jesus Christ. Willing hearts are coming your way. Facebook, YouTube, willing hearts are coming your way. Without applying, doors will open for you in the name of Jesus. Father, we call into being the power of remembrance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Before the end of this May, 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 this month, somebody will receive a compulsion to help you. Somebody is receiving a compulsion to help me. Somebody is compelled to help me and my family. That's so good here. Nobody is left behind. It's like in a war where they say, even if a soldier is injured, we carry him along. Whether he is walking or not, we are carrying him along. Enter your palace moment this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, look at this. God will raise a voice for you. When you check with me and you go to the book of Genesis chapter 37, you see the brothers of Joseph wanting to put him in a pit and wanting to obliterate him, wanting to annihilate him, wanting, wanting to serve him for his dreams, wanting to bring a full stop to him. But there were two brothers, Reuben and Simon decided to speak. There will always be somebody who will be your defense. There will always be somebody who will not swim with the band of robbers. There will be somebody who will dare to speak and say, Reuben heard them and tried to save Joseph. I mean, verse 21, he says, let's not kill him. Yes, we want to cause destabilization in his life, but let's not kill him. And this is the error that the devil makes. Because they didn't kill you. For as long as they didn't kill you, for as long as there's this breath, for as long as this, you still have this mouth, we're going to turn that thing around. They, if they can't leave you in a pit, hey, Reuben had them. He, he decided to raise a voice. He says, no, I hear everything, but let's not kill him. We can do it. We can injure him, but let's not kill him. Gizel, 
The Lord is remembering you. He says, just throw him into this well in the wilderness, but don't hurt him. He said this, planning to save him from them and send him back to his father. So somebody in the midst of the gossipers, in the midst of the detractors, in the midst of the backstabbers, there's somebody who will speak for you. God can raise a voice that will speak for you. And that is the voice of your breakthrough. That is the voice of your escape. That will cause you to come into your calling. That will cause you to come into your destiny manifestation. You will still manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Decree the same voices that have initially agreed to cause you pain. I agree that they will be the ones that help send you help. Those same voices that decided to cause you pain, I command them to bring support to you in the name of Jesus. It shall be compulsory unto them in the name of Jesus Christ. God, when you remember us, oh God, every flood of pain will stop in the name of Jesus. It is compulsory. Every flood of pain is stopping right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Judah said, as you trek to verse 26, what will we gain by killing our brother and covering up the murder? What will we gain? It's another voice that confirms that there is a voice that will rise. Tell your neighbor there is a voice rising. There is a voice that will defend you. What will you gain? Let's sell him to the Ishmaelites. Then we won't have to hurt him. After all, he is our brother, our own flesh and blood. And his brothers agreed. You are coming out. You are escaping out of the trap that they set for you. Let us sell him rather. Ah, when they propose to disagree about your promotion, they will have to agree in Jesus' mighty name. Jemki, God can do it for you. Somebody type in that comment section, God can do it. God can cause people that have been plotting against you to post you and send you where your miracle is going to be. They thought they are bringing down Joseph, but they were actually posting him to his miracle season. They were taking him to his palace. He's rising, his promotion. God can do it. Hallelujah. I decree and declare. The laws of nature can dictate otherwise. The laws, whatever law, whatever legislation can dictate otherwise. But as you have come on this protocol breaking prayer altar, today God is going to break protocol for you. Hallelujah. The laws of life, the laws of finances, the laws of business will push you compulsorily to where your breakthroughs are. Hallelujah. Whatever law that was going to speak against you, whether in business or in life or in, business, in, in, in your finances, that law will start to speak for you in the name of Jesus Christ. God will decree and legislate laws that will speak for you, that will change the protocols for you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are being positioned, repositioned to your miraculous place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, push me to my place of miracle. You are going to be turned from being a nobody to a somebody. They would have left him just like that. But God, but God can do it. God can do it. God had to turn around his season from being a nobody to a somebody. Hallelujah. What can God do? Hallelujah. What can God do? God showed us in the scripture that disability does not matter. God can step in and show you that disability does not matter. We were not interested whether he could walk or not. When God decides to intervene, it has nothing to do with your current personal situation. Saints of God, verse, verse 3 teaches us that your current situation is not necessary. There is sometimes when you go to a place, when you are being interviewed and you're saying, no, 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 I don't need that information. Take me to this part of your CV. I don't know how many of you have been to it. No, just check, take me through this part. So God is saying to you, right, I don't care about your personal current situation. I don't care where you have been. When it's my time to turn your, turn your situation around, disability does not matter. I don't care where you think you are disabled. I don't care that you think you don't have the capital to do your business. God, that disability is not an issue for God. Don't offer unnecessary information. Thank you, pal. Thank you so much. It doesn't matter your current personal situation, Facebook. Everything to do with where God wants you to take you to do, he's got it. He doesn't need extra. Hallelujah. You are not qualified. Yes, he knows. You don't have to tell him that. You feel you are too old. God can do it. Hallelujah. You feel that you are too dark. 
God can do it. Regardless of your skin color, God can do it. God can do it. God can do it. My father, my father, let's raise a prayer right now. Mm. Qualify me for uncommon miracles. Father, at the sound of my voice, everybody who has an ear, let him hear. Today they are being released into a platform of uncommon miracles. Today and beyond, on this day 30, God. We are switching up gear. Everything in our past, everything in our current situation is a minus. And we are turning it into a positive. Anything that is a minus in your life, the Lord is turning it around to become a positive. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever has disabled you, the Lord will disable it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God can disable anything that has disabled you to make it able. I declare you are able. You are able. Able, able, able. You are able in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God can do it for you, Monique. Your disability has become an ability. Hallelujah. You are able, you are able, you are able. Every agent of darkness that has always caused you to retrogress into disability. Father, my father, disable them. Disable every satanic agent that has been causing me to go into retrogression. I will no longer go backwards. I will be moving forwards. Oh, Jesus. Every single form of software that has been making you to reject good things Ah, any type of software that they installed in your computer that has been causing you to reject great things father disable it now disable it now uninstall it from my system right now anything whether it is illness, disease, physical, spiritual, emotional, verbal, whatever it is, disable it now, Lord. Disable it now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hey, every limitation, I speak to it right now. Every limitation that has followed you this far. Disable them, Lord. We disable every single form of limitation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kalaba shokotia. Esa kota kali abasundu. Ika shakota kadi abasunda. The devil is a liar. Our battery is not going to go flat. We charge forward. Amen. Somebody type in the comment section, God can. God can, God can, God can, God can. Hallelujah. Yes, Patty says, update my software. Disable every form of limitation. That is powerful, Patty. Update my software, God. Change my operating system for my sake. God can all do an overhaul. While you are at it, God, God, give me a new computer. Mm. Complete restoration. We are not even replacing parts now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your current location, child of God, let me tell you this, will not be a factor. Tell your neighbor, your current location does not matter. Where you are currently does not matter. Look at verse 4. Let's track. He says, the king, where is, and where is he? The king said to him, where is he? And Ziba said to the king, he is in the house of Machi, the son of Amiel at Lodeba. It does not matter which Lodeba you are sitting in. It does not matter how far, how far or how many taxes they say you must enter into. That is not the question. It does not matter. The Lord is locating you where you need to be. He is moving you from the back to the front in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, God will cause your helper to find you. Somebody declare it and call your helpers. My helper. My destiny helper, come and find me where I am. It does not matter whether you've got the money for the flight ticket or not. Hallelujah. It's got nothing to do with where you live. However, you can be feeling, some of you have been feeling, oh, I'm so useless, Pastor Fortune. You don't understand. I don't even look the part. I don't think I can even go to that interview. The devil is a liar. I am so unkept. I'm living in a mess. Look at where I am. My house is a mess. How can I entertain? And no, 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 no. God does not care about that. That's exactly why he's coming around. God can do it. Somebody type it in that comment section. God can do it. Hallelujah. Focus on your future. Don't stop focusing on your current situation because God does not care about where you are. I decree concerning you. 
Now, this is the part. When I say concerning you, you must mention your name. Shout it out loud. Hallelujah. I decree concerning you. Your current location will not define you negatively. I decree concerning you, Feli, your current location shall not negatively define you. Kristen, your current location shall not define you negatively. Vimbai, your current location shall not define you negatively. Persuade, your current location cannot define you negatively in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ntebo, your current location, ah, I decree concerning you, the general, concerning you, Choisy, concerning you, Nkonaiza, concerning you, Siso, concerning you, Giselle, concerning you, Mendeza, it shall not define you negatively, concerning you, Otepe, concerning you, Petty, concerning you, Candy Betty, concerning you, Dawn, concerning you, Choisy Love, concerning you, Laura, it is your time, concerning you, John, concerning you, Mambanda, in, in Jesus' mighty name. Mm. Lord, deliver them completely in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is delivering you completely from a place of nothing to something, from a place of being a nobody to being a somebody in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is delivering you complete, nothing missing, nothing left, nothing broken from that place of pain. The Lord says, I am delivering you and I'm elevating you to the place of joy, to your season of joy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will deliver you completely from that place of confusion in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be confused about what you're doing, where you're going and where your future is in the name of Jesus Christ. When you check with me, the word of God takes me to Matthew chapter two, verse one. The Bible says when Jesus was born in the village of Bethlehem, Bethlehem in Judea. Herod was king. During this time, some wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. The wise men listened to what the king said and then left. And the star that they had seen in the east went on ahead of them. They were following the star that was going in the east, right? And it stopped over at the place where the child was, where Jesus was. And then the verse 10 says, they were thrilled and excited to see the star. When the men went into the house and saw the child with Mary, his mother, they knelt down and worshipped him. And they took out their gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh, and gave them to him. What is this scripture saying to us, Pastor Fortune, this morning? This scripture is saying that wise men who came as far off from wherever they came from to come and look for Jesus, those wise men are being released to come and find you today. Father, release wise men to me this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let them come and locate me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my wise men will find me. Come on, declare it in the comment section. Call on your wise men to locate you. Wise men, locate me now. Come and find me where I am. This week, this this day, this today, this Tuesday, this month, I command everyone that is possessing my gifts, who is holding my blessings, come and find me. Come and find me. Call those wise men to come and find you. Call those people who are holding your possessions, those people who are owing you money. Let them come. Somebody needs to get paid. Somebody needs to get paid. You have been owed three months now. Three months that person has been owing you wise men locate me let my my my, my debtors locate me those of you who are in business, you shall not be in debt in the name of Jesus Christ. They must locate you and pay you. They must pay you on the spot. We are not operating in the negative. Speak to your overdraft now. Let the money that is supposed to pay for that overdraft locate you now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, wise men locate me. In Uganda, they are locating you. In Zimbabwe, they are locating you. Nora, they are locating you. Oh, Kashakata, Kadi Masonda, Jimmy, they are locating you right now in the name of jesus christ father we speak every herald that wants to delay our destiny help us father uproot them daddy uproot them right now uproot every herald that wants to delay us that wants to make us stagnant in the mighty name of jesus christ oh lord let the star that you have given to to me lord let my divine star given to appoint me find me in the name of jesus christ let my star locate me let my 
start direct my wise men in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lunga, they are coming to the Eastern Cape. In the name of Jesus Christ, from afar, men shall come. Men shall come to bless you. You will overflow in the name of Jesus. Nkuruzi, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive the star, that the star of divine appointment. In the name of Jesus Christ, God can do it. As you pray along with us, blessing Daniel. Let every wise man locate me in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at that testimony. Somebody has confirmed it. That three months. God can do it, Zimkita. God can do it. Even when you do not lift a finger. He says, even if you don't lift a finger, my help will locate you. My help will find you and my help will validate you. When the Lord's help finds you, he validates you. Even if you don't lift a finger. Then King David sent and brought him from the house of Maki, the sound of Am Amir at Lodeba. The guy was just sitting on his wheelchair at Lodeba, doing nothing. He didn't lift a finger. But God sent somebody to fetch him. Your destiny helper must fetch you. Kaya shekitekala. You will not, what are they saying that they, they, they can't come and pick you up? They will come and pick you up. If you're my destiny helper, you will come and pick me up. You know I don't have a car to get to that point. They will come and pick you up. God will cause a willingness in their hearts to do the things that they were not intending to do. It's not up to them. He was fetched from Lodeba. He did not have to lift a finger. Keep tapping in that comment section. God can do it. Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, son of Saul, came to David and fell on his face and paid homage. And David said, Mephibosheth. And he answered, Behold, I'm your servant. Hey, my father, my father, let us pray. For greatness and abundance, let it locate me. Greatness and abundance will locate you and validate you. The help will be sent and the help will come. The help will give you greatness and abundance and it will validate you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God can do it. Promotion and fruitfulness. Find me and validate me. Come on, make sure you are mentioning it for yourself. Promotion and fruitfulness. Find me and validate me. Bring me inside the palace. They have sent you out to locate me. Find me and bring me in. Oh, Jesus. As Jonah, as Mephibosheth was brought in into the palace. Find me and bring me in. Declare it with me, saints. Find me and bring me in. Success, find me and bring me in. Positive experiences, find me and bring me in. Or Tepeng, promotion, find me and bring me in. Fruitfulness, find me and bring me in. All that is mine, find me and bring me in. All my promises which are yes and amen, find me and bring me in. All my possessions, find me and bring me in. My restoration of glory, find me and bring me in. Find me and bring me in. Bring me in. Bring me in into the right tables. Bring me in into the right rooms. Bring me in into the right conversations. Let me be mentioned for good. Bring me into sudden transformation. I see a sudden transformation, Noashe, for you. Noashe, Constance, persuade. I see a sudden transformation happening for you. In the name of Jesus. You are being transformed from a nobody to somebody. You are tr being transformed from being not known to being a renowned name. I see your autobiography writing itself this morning. In the name of Jesus, bring me in, feel it. All on him. God can bring me in. Bring me in. Accelerate me. Promote me. Enter. Let me enter the gates. Let me enter the palace. I will not enter the gates. In the name of Jesus Christ. When God can, he says, I'm a God can. It has nothing to do with how you see yourself. Do not look down on yourself. It has nothing to do with how you see yourself. Verse 7 of that chapter, he says, do not fear. David said to him, do not fear, for I will show you kindness for the sake of your father, Jonathan, and I will restore to you all the land of your soul, your father, and you shall eat at my table always. And he paid homage. He says, what is your servant that you should show regard for a dead dog as I? Look at that verse 8. This is the response from Mephibosheth. He says, what is your servant that you should look at me 
a dead dog. He was calling himself as a dead dog. He, he, as far as he concerned, he was looking down on himself. Listen, child of God, this is the truth I want you to leave with here this morning. Let me rush quickly and, and close. It does not matter how you see yourself. It does not matter how you regard yourself as lacking self-confidence or, or no self-worth. David had to bring Jonathan's perspective. He brought in Mephibosheth into the right mindset in the way he's supposed to see himself. He revealed his plans to Mephibosheth. And look at what he says. He says, as far as you are concerned, you will never lack for anything. You will always eat. You will always be dining with me as king. But at the same time, you know, there are people who like their chains. And today I command your deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Because sometimes you can be so chained to dysfunctionality that you don't recognize that functionality is actually the norm. You have normalized dysfunction. You have normalized being a victim of gender-based violence. You have normalized being verbally abused, emotionally abused, and whatever form of abuse. And you are thinking that is the new normal. No. Dysfunction can never be the normal. He's an amazing God, Ruby. And he has sent me this morning to remind you that it does not matter how you have seen yourself in the past, but there's a point of transformation. And that transformation is now. That transformation is today. Hallelujah. I mean, the king is telling him, basically, hey, all the Maseratis, all the Lamborghinis that are parked outside, they are for your use. And he says, why, why would you do something for a dead dog like me? Hallelujah. What is your servant that you should show regard for a dead dog such as I? Father, my father, let's pray together. Every name that is not mine. That life has given me. I don't know what name life has given you. Maybe they are calling you the poor woman by the end of the road or the poor man by the end of the road. I don't know whether they've called you useless. I don't know whether they've called you a dead dog. But that is not your name. Tell your neighbor, that is not my name. That is not your name. So we raise this prayer now. Father, in the name of Jesus, any name that is not mine, that life has given me, that the circumstances of hardship have given me, that is not my name. Delete it permanently in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every name that is not your name. Let it be deleted now in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare your name is not poverty. Your name is not stupid. Your name is not useless. Your name is not stagnant. Your name is not delay. Your name your name is not backwardness. Your name is not divorced. Your name is your name is not cancer. Your name is not uh, high blood pressure. Your name is not lupus. Your name is not anything that is not aligned to God. Tell your neighbor that is not my name. Give me a new name. Give me a new name. Hallelujah. Today I come to collect my new name. Hallelujah. Every tag of perpetual and recurrent failure. Failure is not my name. Every recurrent failure, repetitive failure like this that you have carried over the years. Right now it ends in the name of Jesus. I wish you could shout that amen louder. Right now we command that failure. Every repetitive recurrent failure right now come to an end. Catch fire. Come to an end right now in the name of Jesus. Every name that they have called you, that has traumatized you, every name that has caused you pain, right now it is being deleted permanently in the name of Jesus Christ. That name called pain, that name called trauma, it is being deleted from you. Right now when they mention your name, when they on a sentence, you cannot have your name being associated with failure in the name of Jesus Christ. May they cease from saying, when they call your name, is shame. No. It's a shame about so and so. No, 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 no. You stop them and say, Whenever you talk about me, do not use the word shame. There's nothing shameful for me. There's nothing shameful about me. God has seized, has seized all forms of shame, has removed, deleted permanently, permanently. It's not my name. That's not my name. In the name of Jesus Christ, every name that you have called yourself that has traumatized you, 
that has caused you pain, we speak to the ones that came from our mouth right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we command them to be deleted permanently, Lord. Let it be deleted from our system, our software. In the name of Jesus Christ, every power that has been killing your self-esteem, I command it to cease right now. Those of you on Facebook, I command every single power that has been causing you to have low self-esteem right now, it ceases in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be a victim of self-esteem. Madi Kelet, you are not self low self-esteem. Coffee, you are not low self-esteem. Blessing, you are not low self-esteem. Bushe, you are not low self-esteem. Right now, I command every low self-esteem to cease. You have self-esteem. You have a positive image about yourself. You carry yourself as leadership. You carry yourself as royalty that you are. I'm not gingering you. I am telling you who exactly you are. You are a royal priesthood. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You were made for this season. This is your time. God is turning around your captivity. Go and step forth and step out and show yourself. Show up and show off. Ah, you are a king and you are a priest. Rebecca, show forth yourself. Show forth that you are a believer and you have authority and you are in charge. You are not low self-esteem. You have the esteem. You are est you will not wait for them to even esteem you. You esteemed in your entry. He's bringing you in. He's validating you and he's calling you esteemed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every single power of discouragement, Father, as I speak, as I still have breath in my nostrils, in my spirit, right now, Father, I decree and I declare that any form of discouragement that has paralyzed anybody who is at the sound of my voice, Ah, anybody that has paralyzed your ability to move forward right now, I command it to stop and I declare that you are moving forward. I said you are moving forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear and anxiety is not your name, T. You are moving forward. You will not fear. You are taking that step, Vivian, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lady Golden, you are taking that step in the name of Jesus Christ. Perfect. You are the daughter of the most high. Curses shall not have any bearing on you. These diseases, these Egyptians, you will not see anymore. My father, my father, what God can do, God can paralyze anything that has been causing you to move slow. God can paralyze anything that has been holding you back in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, any form of mindset of failure, I speak to it right now. Be delivered from any mindset of failure in the name of Jesus Christ. I wish you could type that amen well. Shout that amen well. I decree concerning you, mention your name before I continue. I decree concerning you, fortune. I decree concerning you, Vimbai. I decree concerning you, Muchengeti. I decree concerning you, persuade. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to eat with kings greater than you. I see doors open. I see tables inviting you. You will eat with kings. I decree concerning you, Figile, you will eat with kings in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of a helpless dog, leave us alone. We are not helpless dogs. The spirit of a dead dog, leave us alone. Oh, there is a huge and wide distance between failure and you. Never. It can't catch up. It can't catch up. It can't be in the same race. You can never be a dead dog. You can never be a helpless dog. Never. Lift me up now, oh God. Lift me up now, oh God. God can lift you up, child of God. Come on, begin to ask God, lift me up, raise my head, raise my head, God, raise my head. Your head has been looking down too long. Every eye that has been looking down on you like a dog, surprise them. My father, my father, as I decree and declare this morning, as I pray with everybody at the sound of my voice, I decree, Lord, that those that are thinking down about me, that are looking down upon me, Lord, like the same way Goliath was looking down on David, he did not have an idea that how he was going to be surprised. May you surprise every Goliath in your, in your atmosphere, in your environment, in the name of Jesus Christ. He is an uncircumcised Philistine. 
you will suppress them in the name of Jesus Christ. Every single oppressor and their stick that is oppressing me, every stick of the oppressor, dethrone them, O oh God. Whoever is oppressing me, whoever is even thinking of oppressing me, dethrone them, O oh God. Where they thought they are going to take me out, Lord, take them out in the name of Jesus Christ. Kashoka takalabaha. In the name of Jesus, lift up my head, O oh God. Raise my head, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Proverbs 26, 11 says, dogs return to eat their vomit just as fools repeat their foolishness. Dogs re re return to eat their vomit just as fools repeat their foolishness. So this prayer that I'm praying for, for you, I'm saying every stronghold of stagnancy that makes a man return to his sin of vomit, be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I command everything that will cause us to move backward, to move into an atmosphere of sin again, be uprooted. Let that thing be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. Every trait of a dog that, that makes him stupid, that will make us lack self-control, anything that will make you lose your, your, your bearing, lose self-control, lose self-discipline, want to defile the temple of God, let that thing is being uprooted right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 9:4, it says, for him that is joined to all the living there is hope for a living dog is better than a dead lion you will live you will not die oh my father my father give me hope somebody shouting in the comment section give me hope give me life give me hope give me life give me fresh breath give me hope give me life father i receive hope i receive fresh hope i receive fresh life i need to close now i receive fresh breath in the name of jesus christ when god steps in what can god do god can finish what he has started my level will change this morning in the name of jesus christ i see saying god is saying i can restore you i can change your next level i can take you to the next level i can change the level that you're on i'm changing you i'm taking you through to your complete restoration then Ziba, Kali Abasonda, the soul servant, said to him, All that belong to Saul and all his house, I have given to your master's grandson. From Lodaba to the palace, he became a VIP. May you become a VIP in one day. The same way Mephibosheth became a VIP, you are becoming a VIP in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, Kali Abasokonia, God can make sure that they release everything that your father owned and even the things that your father did not own. They are giving it back to you. Anything that you lost, God can complete cause a complete restoration and add new things to it. Hallelujah. He's adding new things. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus, whatever it will take, God, change our levels now. Whatever it will change, your mighty hand will change our status today in the name of Jesus Christ. All that belongs to us that has been hanging, give it to us right now. I command every hanging blessings to be released to you right now. Anything that has been hanging, it is being released to you right now. Spiritually, emotionally, the Lord is changing your wardrobe your spiritual wardrobe you are going to receive and even further action to pray and anointing to pray like never before you are being spiritually transformed your wardrobe is being changed physically emotionally in the name of jesus christ before the end of this month and beyond the lord will send you a new circle of friends and greatness in the name of jesus christ you are being launched out the lord will make sure that he is releasing you into relationships of people who are befitting to be of you or of your company in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is adjusting your level. Some of you are going to be shaking off useless friends. The Lord is going to bring you into the right friendship circles in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every good thing that you have tasted in the past that has disappeared, the Lord is saying you will taste it again and I will even add more. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. He's saying, I'm launching you into a greater glory. What can God do? God can use uh, your testimony to confound unbelievers, unbelievers that have mocked you, that have looked down on you. The Lord is saying, I am going to cause them to, 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 to see your testimony. I'm going to cause your testimony to resound and to be known from afar and beyond. In the name of Jesus Christ, in verse 10, we see, and you and your sons and your servants shall till the land for him and shall bring in the produce that your master's grandson may have bread to eat. The same people that were looking down on him, the Zebras of this world, the Goliaths of this world, the people that have been saying you will amount to nothing. Those are the people that God is going to make them work for you. He's saying that they will tilt the land for you. Talk to me, somebody. He shall bring in the produce and they will eat. They will make sure that Mephibosheth never goes without uh, without food. But Mephibosheth, your, man, your, your master's grandson, shall always eat at my table just in case you did not understand. Just in case you don't understand Zeba, you and the totality 
totality of the servants that were remaining, you are going to serve this man that you are calling a dead dog, that you made feel like a dead dog. You are going to cause ah, Sonda, some people that have been mocking you in your workplace, they will be shocked when you are promoted to become their manager. Oh, somebody, Allo Queen, I see it. I see it for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see the Lord elevating you. The Lord will increase your faith. In the name of Jesus Christ, this morning as you shout that amen louder, as you type that God can do it. God can do it. God can do it. The Lord will increase your faith. The Lord will help you. The Lord will increase your faith for the impossible in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will do things that will shake the foundations of the world. The Lord will cause you to be a world changer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will use the foolishness of this world to be to confine the wise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, I must tell you, behold, I'm doing a new thing. Shall you not sing it? See it? It is springing forth for you. God can do it. As you type, God can do it. The new thing is manifesting for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the wild beast will honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the people who I formed for myself, that they may declare my praise. You are going to declare the praises of God because he is doing a new thing for you this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to declare and decree. Let new things spring forth for me, O God. Let new things happen for me, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we receive the wellspring of life. We receive the water of life, O God. We knew we receive the new springs of life, oh God. Let us be watered. Let every seed that I have sown in the past, oh God, continue to be watered and continue to bring forth a harvest, oh God, that no man can understand and contain. Eye has not heard, ear has not heard, seen, uh, heard or seen. In the name of Jesus Christ, what the Lord is taking you to, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, what can God do as I close? God can make sure. Kadi Abasunda. Mm whatsoever he is going to do for you this morning and beyond uh, shall be permanent and beyond in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, completely permanent. Uh, men can give you things and want to take them back, but not when God has caused their willingness. Uh, God says uh, they will be compelled to will. They, their willingness will be compulsory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, verse 11, 2 Samuel chapter 9, verse 11, then said Ziba unto the king, according to all my Lord, the king hath commanded his servant, so shall thy servant do. As for Mephibosheth, said the king he shall eat at my table as one of the king's sons verse 13 says for Mephibosheth dwelt in Jerusalem for he did eat continually look at verse 13 he says he did eat continually somebody say continually continually I want you to think and, and, and position your mind that the provisions of God are continuous they are not having an expiry date you will eat continually you will be resting in your marriage continually you will be happy continually your joy shall be continuous it is not going to be short second it is not going to be cut short in the name of Jesus Christ. No person is coming to commit adultery and take your husband or your wife away from you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nobody is coming to take your customers. Nobody is going to dislodge your brain. You are going to you are going to op operate at an optimum level in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout continually, continually at the king's table. Oh, Kariyama Sonda, it does not matter where you were laying before, but you are continually going to be positioned at the king's table. You are positioned continually to be a, 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 a subscriber to divine health. You are a continuous subscriber to divine prosperity. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see the Lord. He's confirming. He says, continually, they must know, Lord, fortune, that I am consistent. I am consistent. I see the Lord turning your mess into a message. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, from now, you will live in the Jerusalem of life. Receive your moment. This is you being transitioned. You are being relocated to the Jerusalem, Jerusalem of your life. You will eat at the king's table continually tell your neighbor you will eat at the king's table continually in the mighty name of jesus christ holy spirit i thank you father i thank you I glorify your holy name oh god thank you lord thank you lord for sponsoring this meeting today for making sure that we don't forget who we are somebody type god can as you type in God can, you mention whatever it is that prayer request is. God can do it. God can heal me. If it is healing you are looking for, God can do it. Chilufu, God can do it in the name of Jesus Christ. God can do it. God can do it. God can do it. You will eat at the king's table continually. I just want to thank you so much. I want to release those of you who want to go to work and um, maybe you are taking kids to school as well. You did not wake up in vain. It was not in vain. God will fulfill your heart's desires. God can do it in Jesus' name.
Nora, your marriage is stable. Change that confession. God is making it stable in Jesus' mighty name. Whensoever defiled your marriage bed, that thing will catch fire. There are things that I would command and declare, but I can't say it here. But feel free to say it in your private time. In Jesus' mighty name. I want to encourage everybody, please make sure you are following all the platforms that you are in now. Please give the host a follow. Make sure that you are clicking on the profile picture. You are following me on YouTube, Fortune L Online or Fortune Lehuabe. Just look at me for my name, Fortune Lehuabe or Fortune L Online. Moderators, please help me type my, my handle there. Please make sure that you are following Apostle Mara. You click on Mara Official, you will go to the handle there on his YouTube handle. If you want to send me a message, you can send it via Instagram. I'll follow you back. Everybody, I'm up to date. I know I'm up to scratch. I followed everybody back. You are able to send me messages and then I will be able to respond to you there. That is the best way to actually locate me in Jesus' name. So please, 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 I'm asking you kindly just subscribe to the YouTube. Sometimes there's content we put on YouTube that we you can always go and watch the replays at. Okay, so please do yourself a favor. Go and subscribe to the YouTube channels as well. Um, And, and there's also other topics and other trainings that you have not seen thank you so much god bless you youtube and facebook i love you so much you must go out and conquer you are awesome noasha constance you are awesome god bless you vimbai i saw you uh persuade everybody from zimbabwe zambia i'm coming august hallelujah so keep praying zambia will be there for the women's program thank you so much god bless you i love you i love you i love you i love you and go out and conquer you are amazing you are amazingly remember you are awesome